Trauma bonds start, they have seven stages. Number one is the love bomb stage. You get all kind of crazy love from this person. I love you so much, you're amazing, and it feels awesome because you've never really had that. Here's what's crazy, you've never really had that, you've never experienced that kind of love, you've never experienced that kind of affirmation, or you did. And it feels healthy in the beginning. The second stage is trust and dependency. They do everything that they can to get you to trust and be dependent upon them for validation. And so you, you begin to isolate. I don't need anybody else, I just need this person. You become codependent. And then the third stage is they become critical. It's criticism. They slowly begin to criticize and begin to blame you for things that happen. Number four is manipulation or gaslighting. When things go wrong, and some of y'all don't even know where the term gaslighting comes from. It's back whenever they used to have uh, gas lanterns. You hear it all the time. It's a popular phrase now. But back when they would have gas lanterns back in the day, husbands would turn the gas lanterns down until they flickered if he wanted to get rid of his wife. And his wife would be like, are the lights flickering? And he'd say, no, you must be crazy. And if he said it to her enough, she thought she was losing her, losing her mind. Wow. Yeah. So they begin to manipulate you. And they blame things on you. They, they get you to believe that their narrative. Number five, you begin to give up control. You no longer know what to believe. But your only way of experiencing the good feelings of stage one, that love bomb phase, is by just giving in and going along and doing whatever they want. Some of y'all know right now you're sitting in a marriage that is a trauma bond. And you know if you even want to be heard, it's going to be a fight. Then you begin to lose yourself. That's phase six. When you fight back, things get worse. So you settle for anything to have peace. And you begin to lose all of your confidence. Now, now here, here's what I need you to understand. Some of you are the one who's bringing the trauma into the relationship. If you're doing it intentionally, please go quickly to counseling and get yourself some healing. Maybe you were abused and you've become an abuser. I don't hate you, I'm trying to help you. Get some help outside of yourself. Maybe you were so controlled by your parents that you've become a controller. Get somebody to help you. I'm not giving up hope on you, I'm not throwing you away, but I am very clearly telling you, you absolutely have to have some help. In fact, if I'm describing your relationship and you're getting mad because I'm exposing you, you have a problem and you need to deal with that or you will never find fulfillment in controlling someone else. And if you're in that relationship, understand me, if you don't get help, it'll destroy you. And especially if it is physically abusive, you need to get out right now. You need to move out right now. You need to get some help right now. Because the seventh stage is addiction to the cycle. You get addicted to the highs and lows. So you, you, you live in this cortisol, this stress environment. Your body's constantly in stress and you're desperate for dopamine, which causes you to have addictions. This is why people go and do crazy stuff that they would never do. Because they're desperate for just, a, just I just need to feel good. And somebody who's very successful gets a drug addiction because they're in a trauma bonded relationship and they can't get any relief. And I'm not saying that's every case, but that's a lot of cases. The also, the danger is when they take you back to stage one and they love bomb you again, which gives you all the dopamine and you've never felt this way before and you believe that that's who they really are. So you're addicted to the relationship and you can never get out. This started with your mom and dad. Uh, Y'all pay $250 at the door today for your therapy session. God bless you.